So today, Stephen and I are also going to try to use one of my old kites from kiteboarding to make a canopy for her gazebo because one of the storms over winter like ripped it to shreds. So, and Steven's like, we need to put something up like right now. So I was like, okay, we'll, we'll try to see if we can make something out of it right now. But if not, I'm thinking we're just gonna do it. So I'm hoping I have the patience to figure out how to make this cover. So I have a best kite from kiteboarding, my kiteboarding kite. It's my 11.5 11 meter and it's out of commission because, <laughs> because one time I got it really wet and I was going to dry it out in the garage at my mom's house and she usually gets home really late and for some reason the one day that I decided to lay it out in the garage was the one the one day she came home early so when she parked over it um, her car like the engine was so hot that it melted through the fabric so uh, it was just ruined like can't see it because it's all rolled up on that side where it's messed up but yeah so this kite is not usable and it's really old anyways so Stephen and I are going to use it as our canopy since the wind ripped off our other one and this will probably only be a temporary fix because this fabric is so thin and if it's going to be out in the sun all the time it's just going to wear right through like see there's already a little tiny hole right here so we've decided that this is only going to be temporary until we can afford to get another one or find a gently used one or something. So right now I'm just cutting little tiny slits in the fabric and then zip tying it onto the frame. So I'm gonna just kind of do that and hopefully that'll work and whatever's like hanging we'll just cut it off and then attaches to the other side because I also have another kite that our friend Paul gave us and he said that we could cut that kite up too so so we're gonna use that so let's see what happens
Okay, it's all finished. I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks cool. Gazebo cover made of kiteboarding kites. You can even see the struts. I like that you can see that it's an actual kite. And here's the one that our friend Paul gave us. It's a North Kite. I think it's a North Vegas. But, uh, yeah, it's not perfect, but I think it looks really cool. Um, I wanted to do, like, kind of, like, quilt patchwork, you know? But Steven said that, you know, we probably don't want to put that much time into it if it's not going to last that long. So watch this thing last for years. <laughs> we'll see. But I, I, I think, I think it turned out really well. Yeah, I think it turned out a lot better. I'm glad I didn't do the patchwork because I do think it looks cooler that you can see all the struts and stuff. And I probably, well, I don't know. It just would have taken too long. I, you know, and that four-letter word that always tends to get in the way, work. <laughs> so, yeah, this turned out way better than I thought. And it only took, you know, one one Sunday and then two days after work, so that's not bad. So, and I actually didn't come up with this idea. Our, our friend Susie that lives in Hawaii, she came up with this idea. And that's, that's, I like it. Thanks, Susie. <laughs> oh, that's it.